all right my dear students we have already done with learning how to calculate depreciation and this time we are working on how to make ledger account for non current asset cost okay we need to make ledger account ledger account is also known as t account so the requirement here it is we need to make machine account if, if the examiner is only saying machine account this means the examiner is asking for the cost account for the machine okay we need to make it for all of the years there, therefore one combined account would be made for all of the years that is 2013 14 15 and 16 now let me read the question for you ard textile started operations on 1st january this means it is a new business and we have just started the business on january 13 so that we do not have any assets prior to 1st january okay because we have just started the business so therefore there is no balance brought down there is no opening balance and uh, if it was not a new business and it was started previously so therefore if we have an opening balance for cost therefore the opening balance would always come on the debit side why because we are making cost account here and the nature of asset is debit so therefore the balance brought down would always comes on the debit side okay but we do not have any assets prior to january 13 so in february 13 that is first year we have bought a machine for 100000 so the entry would be machine is an asset so whenever an asset increases it would be debited so we we'll, we are going to debit the machine account and the reference that we are going to give uh, would be bank and if the examiner doesn't mentions that we have bought the machine on credit or through check we are always assuming that we have paid the money through our bank account so the entry would be machine account would be debited and bank account would be credited okay so we do not need to make bank account here we just need to cross reference uh, write the cross reference as bank okay now as you can see in 2013 there are no other transactions there was only one transaction for 100000 now what we need to do at the end of the year we need to balance off all of the accounts so the shorter side would be balance cd balance cd is basically balance carried down carried down is closing balance now this balance carried down would becomes balance brought down at the start of the next next accounting period now after december 13 would comes january 14 okay so this is balance bd now what happens in next year 2014 on 1st august we have bought two machines each at a cost of 35 from honda limited if one machine cost us 35 then two machines would combine uh, cost us all together 70000 so if we have bought from honda limited and if the examiner is mentioning the name of the supplier this means we have bought the machine on credit okay and if instead the examiner doesn't mentions the name of the supplier then we would assume that we have paid through check okay now this time the machine are uh, again increasing by 70000 so here we are going to debit the machine and instead of writing the reference bank we are going to write the name of the supplier and that is honda limited okay so the double entry would be machine would be debited and honda account would be created now previously we had machines of 100,000 and we have bought new machine for 70,000. Now if you add up both of these, we are left with total of 170,000. Now at the end of the year, all of the asset accounts need to be balanced. So what we are going to do, we need to write balance CD that is balance carried down, uh, carried down on the shorter side. Okay. Now as you can see, both of the sides are now equal. Now this balance carried down that is closing balance at the end of the year would becomes opening balance at the start of next accounting year that is 2015. Now in 2015 as you can see there are no further transactions. So what we need to do we cannot skip 2015. Instead of writing any transaction we are just going to do balance carried down and then balance brought down again. Now as you can see the shorter side is balance CD again. This shorter side would become balance CD. And if there is only one transaction, we do not need to add up uh, this again because the total for 170 would be 170 only. Okay. So just need to uh, write double lines. This means uh, we have ruled off an account. Ruling off means we have to close an account and this is ruled off. So these both sides are now equal 170. So the totals would always comes in front of each other. Okay. Now this balance carried down would becomes balance brought down again at the start of next accounting period that is 170. 
Now in 2016, that is last year, we have sold the machine which we have bought in 2013 for 40,000. Now, my dear students, the asset nature is debit. Whenever we are buying a machine, machine account is being debited. But what happens if we sell a machine? If we have sold or disposed of is the proper word for selling a machine. Whenever we have disposed of a machine, so the machine account would be created. Why? Because the asset is going down. Whenever asset is uh, increasing, it would be debited. And whenever an asset is decreasing, it would be created. And we are going to write a special name of an account that is disposal. Okay, a disposal account is only used whenever we have sold off an old asset. Okay, so we are going to credit the machine and we are going to debit the disposal account. And instead of writing the amount that we have received on disposal, uh, that is 40,000, we are going to write the original cost. That is, we have bought the machine for uh, in 2013, the machine that we have sold this year was bought originally for in 2013 for 100,000. Okay, so instead of writing 40,000 here, we are going to write 100,000. That is the original cost of the machine. Now, out of that 170,000, we have sold the machine that originally costed us 100,000. Okay, now out of this 170,000, 100,000 machine is basically sold. And now we are left with only machines that are uh, cost uh, that costed us 70,000. Okay, so again, we need to total both of the sides. Again, the shorter side would becomes a balance CD. Balance CD is balance carry down closing balance. Now out of this 170, we have sold 100,000 machine and we are left with 70,000 machines. Okay, so this balance carried down would becomes balance brought down at the next accounting period. Now the question here arises, sir, how long will you keep on uh, writing balance brought down? And the answer to this is that you need to see the requirement in the examination question. If uh, the examination asks for 2016, then we are going to do balance BD in 1st January 2017. That is the next day after the last uh, year end. And if the examiner says to make account for 22, uh, then we are going to make balance BD in 2023. So this is basically how we make a T account for cost. So whether we are making machine account or building account or equipment account or furniture and fixture account or computer account, uh, all of these T accounts that is cost accounts will be made in the same manner. Okay, but let us do some other practice for making learning how to make a T account for the cost of non current assets. Now we have another question. It's a past paper question. Uh, on 31st August 2011, that is their year end, the following extract. Uh, extract means it's not a complete uh, balance sheet. Uh, instead, it is just one part of the balance sheet. And here, as you can see, we have only non current asset section because this is the topic that we are studying. Uh, we have three columns, one for cost, then for accumulated depreciation, and then for NBV net book value. Okay, uh, we have equipment that uh, costed 60,000 and it was total uh, depreciated by total of 24,000 and the remaining value is 36,000. And if we deduct 5,600 from the original cost of computers, then we are left with net book value. And this is the total for cost. This is for provision. And this is for net book value. And now, as you can see, these all transactions uh, relate to August 2011. Now, the current year that we do have is August 2012. There are three transactions. And the requirement is we need to prepare equipment account and office computer ledger account. Ledger account is another name for making a T account. Now here we are not uh, worried about uh, the rates and uh, methods and policies of charging depreciation. Why? Because we are just concerned with uh, making a cost account. Okay. First of all, I am going to show you how to make uh, equipment account. Basically, it is a cost account. And as you may be aware that equipment is an asset for the business for Stavros. So therefore, the balance brought down would always comes on the debit side. Now the requirement here states that we need to make an account for 2012. Okay, so the August 2011 would be the previous year. Okay, so the August uh, closing balance at the end of the previous year would becomes balance brought down at the start of the year. Okay, and if the year is being ended in August, therefore the year must have been started on 
1st September, okay, 2011. Because in 1st September 2012, our new year will start. Uh, and this year, the year that was ended in uh, August 2012 must have been started on the previous year that is August or oh, sorry, August, uh, September 2011. Okay, so the balance BD would comes in 1st September 2011. Now, as you can see how much equipment that we already have in the last year that was 60,000. So we are making cost account. We are not here concerned about the total depreciation. Okay, we are going to learn how to make provision account in the later lessons. Now, as you can see in note one uh, on 31st January 2012, that is current year equipment that was purchased on april 2009 at a cost of 28000 was sold for 10000 sold this means we have disposed of an asset and payment was received by check now my dear students you must remember from the previous question that whenever we buy an asset the asset account is going to be debited why because the nature for asset is debit and whenever we sell the asset so the asset account needs to be credited okay so whenever we sell a non-current asset we use a special account with the name of disposal okay now instead of writing the actual amount that has been received on disposal we are going to write the original cost of the asset that has just been disposed of why because we are making cost account in a cost account we are always going to write the original cost of the asset that we have disposed of although as you can see we have received only 10,000 on disposal but the asset that we have sold for 10,000 originally uh, was bought by the business for 28,000. Okay. So in disposal, we are going to write the original cost of the asset and not the actual amount that we have received on its disposal. Okay. Now, as you can see, note two, we have bought a new equipment was purchased at a cost of 35. Now, whenever we are uh, buying an asset and the examiner doesn't mention the name of the supplier, this means we have bought the asset on uh, check okay so the entry would be equipment account would be debited and the bank account would be credited equipment debit and bank account would be credited now as you can see note 3 uh, we are concerned with computer so it is a transaction relating to computers uh, there's a separate account for computers so we do not need to write uh, buying or selling of computers in equipment account here why because we need to make two separate accounts one for computer and one for uh, equipment okay sometimes uh, there's a common account for both of that and then we can write both of these transactions the same account but not uh, in this case now let me uh, total both of the sides as you can see the bigger side is debit side so the bigger side would comes on both of the sides and the shorter side would becomes a balance cd balance cd that uh, in the end of the year we are left with equipment that costed us uh, 67000 okay so this balance carried down at the end of the end of the year would becomes a balance brought down at the start of next accounting period. Now after August would become first September, but it will remain 2012. Why? Because this 2012 would becomes 13 in January only and, and, and not before that. Okay. So this is the T account for equipment. Now it's very similar that we did previously. Uh, let us make a computer account as well in this question. Now, as you can see, uh, we are going to make an account for 2012. So if the year is ending in August 12, it must have been started on after August because comes September. Okay. Uh, in September 12, the new year will start. And in September 2011, it was the previous year. So the balance BD would always comes on the debit side. Okay. So at the start of the year or at the end of the previous year, we had office computers worth 60,000. So this was basically the original cost. Now, as you can see, node one and two, we are only concerned with equipment, but in node three, we have bought a new computer for $600. Okay. Whenever we are buying a computer, so the entry would be computer would be debited and bank account would be credited. If the examiner doesn't mention that we have bought through credit or cash, we will always assume we have bought through check. Okay. So as you can see, there is no disposal in office computer. So the shorter side would becomes balance CD. And if there is only one transaction and the credit side, this is balance CD and this is a uh, total as well. So this balance CD would becomes balance BD at start of next. Okay. There are some concepts that we need to understand. The examiner asks in this question, explain the term depreciation. What is a depreciation? My dear student, depreciation is basically an, as an expense. It is an expense. 
and why it is being charged it is charged why to spread to spread what the cost of non current asset over its useful life this is basically this is the official definition of depreciation it is an expense and why it is being charged it is charged to spread spread what to spread love no it is charged to spread the cost of asset over its useful life so let us assume we have bought an air conditioner and it costed us 10000s of dollars or maybe 1000 dollars we have bought a air conditioner for 1000 dollars and this would be expected to use for 4 years and the depreciation is straight line so what we need to do we need to divide the 1000 dollars by 4 years and each year we need to charge 250 dollars of depreciation why because our asset is losing its value by 250 dollar each year okay so this is basically a definition of depreciation state two causes of depreciation why does a non current asset depreciate what are the reasons or causes there are two points in it one is physical factors what is physical factor physical factor means if you have bought a new car motor vehicle okay so the car would not remain new uh, for the entire life okay so the car would get scratched okay someone who is jealous of your new car uh, would just uh, use his uh, keys or anything that is pointed and he or she or whoever who is jealous of your new car will scratch off your paint so therefore your car will get damaged or maybe you met an accident god forbid and that that accident has uh, had put a major dent on your car so these are all the physical factors uh, the seats will get torn and the tires will be uh, used okay or rough so these are all the physical factors uh, we we'll, we are going to write wear and tear so a common name for all of these factors that I discuss is wear and tear. So due to wear and tear, our asset is getting old. Okay, due to usage or wear and tear or maybe rust. If there are metallic parts, then they will uh, be get rusted. Okay, so these are the physical factors or why your asset is losing value. And there can be one more factor and that is economic factor. And what does economic factor means? Economic factor means that although your asset is at as good as new, but it has lose value. Why? Because it has been obsolete. Okay. So the new newer version or newer model has been launched in the market. So let us uh, uh, take an example of Apple uh, iPhone or iPad. Okay. You bought a, an iPhone 13 and as soon as the apple launched iphone 14 the value of your iphone 13 got down although uh, maybe you haven't used it yet or maybe it's a box pack phone you have it but again the it will not be sold for the the value that you have actually bought because uh, the newer version or the better version of that iphone has been launched so therefore the value has been declined for the older version and it is known as economic factors in etiquette in etiquette means uh, the software that we are going to uh, require to run on that uh, uh, ipad or maybe iphone the ios uh, is old and our software that we want to run will no longer be supported by the old iphone so therefore it is in etiquette we cannot use it for the intended purpose okay the asset is being obsolete okay because the newer version is there so it is out of date or option state one advantage of using straight line and uh, the worksheets i have given you contain many advantages and disadvantages written of all of the three met methods now let us quickly discuss why uh, do businesses use straight line okay if a non-current asset is generating equal benefit each year therefore it is fair to charge equal depreciation annually using straight line method uh, what does this mean let us suppose we have uh, i have bought this chair the chair on which i am sitting and i have bought it for uh, 20000 okay now i am assuming that i am going to use this chair for 5 years maybe okay so 20000 divided by 5 years it would become 
फोर थाउजेंड पर ईयर ओके वी आर गोइंग टू चार्ज डेप्रिशिएशन फोर थाउजेंड एज आई एम यूजिंग दिस चेयर इक्वली मोर और लेस एवरी ईयर सो देर फॉर द डेप्रिशिएशन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू चार्ज वुड बी ऑल्सो वुड बी इक्वल ईच ईयर सो देर फॉर इट इज वी आर यूजिंग स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके स्ट्रेट लाइन इज द मेथड दैट चार्ज इज इक्वल डेप्रिशिएशन ओके इफ आई एम नॉट using it more or lesser than previous year if i am using uh same uh the usage is same every year so therefore the depreciation should also be the same and which a uh, method is that that charges equal depreciation each year uh, it is straight line method so i hope my dear, dear students you are able to understand uh, how to make a t account for cost and some basic concepts regarding depreciation allow us